All right, so now we're going to demonstrate it. Now, I'm, instead of a mouse, I'm just going to use this rubber ball for now. And since I, if I put the rubber ball in here, it's not going to really chase after and find the peanut butter. I'll just roll this thing through backwards. And here it comes, and we'll see if it works. Um, hi, this is a mouse trap, a uh, mouse cannon. I decided to uh, build this thing after my brother-in-law ran into trouble with some mice in New York City. The uh, construction from the buildings nearby forced so many mice into his building. He bought 15 of those poison tablets. The next day, all 15 were gone. And he was spending too much money, so I decided to make a repeating mouse cannon. So it just ejects mice out the window all day long, eventually solving the problem. I'll show you how this works. Um, first, what do the mice do? Well, the, mice, the mouse either comes in through this little hole down here, and walks in here because they're after the peanut butter, and we put the peanut butter in this tube right here. The other way they can get in is through this little hole right here, and then they walk in through this little tube, and when they get down to here, they walk in between the infrared emitter and the infrared detector, and That sets the whole thing off. Now there's a lid that goes on here, so when the fan motor pulls air in, there's only one way for the air to get out. It can't get out through the mouse hole, because that shuts. Can't get out through the mouse hole here, so that shuts. The only way for the air to get out is through this tube, which the mouse is in, and so the air goes out and the mouse goes with it. Um, so we can shoot them outside and maybe give the little guys a chance. Now, let me show you how this whole thing works. First, I'm gonna pull 110 volts straight out of the wall. Just comes right through this wire right up here and I uh, wired into this outlet and uh, it's just a standard outlet and plugged into that outlet we have an 11 volt AC transformer. That transformer we bring it into this block right here that's just simply to help us make some connections and we run the positive right down here and we run the negative right down here and they go diagonally over here to this breadboard. This breadboard here houses my low voltage power supply. So we take the AC power into this rectifier and that changes into DC but it's kind of a wavy DC. So we put this capacitor here and that's going to allow the AC component to pass right through and thus remove it from the circuit. Now coming out of here we've got about 15 volts DC so we're going to need to bring that down. I've got two voltage regulators here. Down here I've got a little feedback loop. Takes a little bit of electricity, runs it back through and by the ratio of the resistor values here and here we can then uh, set this so it puts out 11 volts. Now here's the output. The positive sneaks right up here. This is my transistor circuit. This is the brains of the whole thing. What I'm doing here is I'm pulling a little trickle of electricity down through this uh, resistor here. And that little trickle of electricity runs all the way down and it runs through my phototransistor. And if my phototransistor is unblocked, then the electricity comes right back up to here, which then allows electricity to flow through this transistor. And the electricity flowing through that transistor is what keeps pin 2 of the 555 at a high voltage. And that means this uh, little 555 chip is off. These are pretty cool. You can get them for buck fifty at Radio Shack. It's amazing what they do. Now, when the mouse blocks the uh, uh, photo sensor, well, this can't conduct electricity. The electricity bleeds out through this resistor, and now the 555 chip is activated. Now, the 555 chip is pulling 11 volts straight from my um, low voltage power supply and when it turns on it's going to pass about 9 volts through and those 9 volts go right into here and then come back out here and that activates this coil the blue coil which is just an electromagnet which is also a switch it's an electrically activated switch 
and we've pulled 11 volts off the low voltage power supply, sent it right through here. Now, that's going to uh, pass this to the larger coil, or the larger relay, and uh, the coil this relay runs at 11 volts. When it activates, it's going to pass the whole 110 AC uh, right on through this wire here, up here, and then that activates the motor. Now the whole thing is fused with a 7 uh, amp slow blow fuse so that if the, you know, the poor guy gets stuck in here, then after like 10 or 15 seconds, which is too long for this to be on, the whole thing shuts down. So that's there for safety. But that's how that all works. I'm going to put this back together and then uh, I'll give you a little demonstration. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to demonstrate it. Now, I'm, instead of a mouse, I'm just going to use this rubber ball for now. And since I, if I put the rubber ball in here, it's not going to really chase after and find the peanut butter. I'll just roll this thing through backwards. And here it comes, and we'll see if it works. Maybe from this angle we can get a better idea of like if it's actually going fast or not. All right, I'll see if I can follow it all the way down. Get it maybe on the way back up here for a little bit. Ah! 